So, uh, well, I, okay, I just had to restart my computer to get the headphones installed. You can tap on the subwoofer. Okay. Um, this is, this is weird, because I can hear the, the scratching of the microphone, but I can't hear what I'm, s I cannot hear what I'm saying through the headphones, which, ah, that'd be why. If I turn this up, then I can hear myself, and this is, that's actually pretty cool. Never mind. I like this, because this is more like a broadcasting headset now. The one thing I don't like about it is it's not really tight around the ears. It, I mean, the box says it's noise canceling, but I can still hear my computer. And my computer runs at 13.8 decibels. So, I don't know. Um, okay, let's go play some music. Um, I think I'm going to play Strange Cloud by B.O.B. Just because I know that's got a good bass line on it. Hello. Oh. Okay, so When it says vibration, that turns a subwoofer on and off, I think. I don't know, that's what I felt. Gotcha. I don't know, I gotta, I'm listening, I'm trying to see. Because, I think that's what it does, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, so, if you ever got this headset, know that the vibration button turns on and off the subwoofer, and that's how the system vibrates. That's weird, but okay. Um, the, the part up here, this is still weird to me, because this is run on a cable, so, like, you, you can see it right there, it's, it's a cable. And it, so anyone can wear it, you don't have to worry about someone messing with your headset, I guess. Um... I don't know, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far, they're pretty good quality. I don't know, let me play another song that I know is... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Come on. Give me something. It's very clear. I like it. Very nice. Um, some drum step. Ah, my favorite song. We'll see if it... Oh, jeez, that is beautiful. I like this. These are, these are nice. Yes, I will. First off, I have to... Uh, me gusta, me gusta, yes. I don't want... Well, that's no. Okay, we'll move on from the headphones, because... Yeah. Nice headphones. Um, if you didn't see the previous video, these are the... Blah, 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 it's on the box right there. They're by Sentis. Um, they're... Archers, I think? I don't know. Let's see if I can do this without messing this up too much. The Arches Elite Gamer Series. There's no specific name to it. Um, there we go. Okay, that's better. Um, beautiful headphones. Beautiful, beautiful. Here they are again. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, okay? Okay. Okay, um, beautiful headphones. I've got a nice uh, LED right here behind the screen. 
you tap on it, you can actually hear that inside, though. So I guess someone can get your attention. Um, nice mic. It's actually on the entire system. This entire disc right here rotates. So there's not really a chance of like, breaking the microphone. Nice omnidirectional. There's a light on it to tell you when it's muted and when it's not muted. Um, when it's on, it's not muted. Um, all in all, very nice. Um, quite like it. All right, I guess next in the review, since the previous video was the unboxing, I should. This is the review. Well, welcome to the review. Um, we're doing the HP Elite V2 wireless keyboard uh, with scissor keys, and I. I just freaked out about this because this is retarded. HP, you need to fix this. And I know that there's an issue. Ah! That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm sorry, guys. And, and girls. Stay. Stay. Okay. This is, this is an issue. The delete button. Not the backspace button. The backspace button's fine. The delete button. Boop. That thing is massive. Why is it so big? It only needs to be the size of the rest of these keys. Stop. Like, that was that was unnecessary. Go back to... F Adjust the light on me. God. There we go. There's a... Oh, it's snowing again. It is May 27th, and it's snowing in Colorado. It snowed last night, too. Why? Anyways, um... Let me just pull up a Word document here. That was the m most failed attempt at typing Word I've ever had. Um, okay, because you obviously don't know how to find Word. Why am I doing this? I've got a th three monitor computer here. Word. Why do I have to look at this main one? Or even that one? For this is a small one, that's why I don't typically look at it. Um, I love chocolate. I love this keyboard. And Hostess Cupcakes. Delete. There we go. Okay. We can close that. No, don't save that. Anyways, um, oh, I, I happen to love scissor key, um, keyboards. Uh, mechanicals are nice, don't get me wrong. I mean, I use mechanical for gaming all the time because I can push multiple buttons at the same time and they all read through, which is just phenomenal, um, especially in games like Elite Dangerous or CSGO. But I don't really like mechanical keyboards for typing too much. They, they, I find the keys to be too big. So um, I, I spent six minutes on researching this keyboard. Um, this is the mechanical, not, it's a scissor key HB Elite, book, Elite version 2. I guess the version one sucked too much, so they made a second version of it. Um, but it looks pretty functional. Um, some of the downsides that people said were there's a f all the the hotkey is like play, pause, rewind, skip, and stuff were footnoted, and then I don't mind because then I don't accidentally push them. And besides, I have to push Control L to lock my computer anyways, so you know, I don't mind. Um, personal preference. If you don't like that, well, then sucks for you. I don't know what the rest of these buttons do. I know that one opens the start menu. I know that this is primed for Windows 8. So, I'm going to go with this open... I, I don't know what the buttons do. I will figure it out later. I'm going to know this one opens settings, though. Wow. I That was the fastest ever opening of settings. I like that. Um, I guess we'll get on to the mouse next. Uh, that's going to be the hardest part. I picked up... Uh, what is it? It is the... X Soul for the gaming. Um, I don't even know what the name of the mouse is. Ah, it's the Predator, the XMB Predator. Um, all in all, here, uh, there it is. That that's it. Focus on the mouse, please. You don't want to. Okay, never mind. Um, great mouse. A um, little bit weird to get used to. I still have to figure out how to play with everything. I mean, I just took the heel panel off. And somehow this gets... risen up and... I don't, I don't know. I've literally used this thing for six minutes. Maybe seven. Hmm. 
you can just rip it off like that, I guess. That's interesting. Nice little um, multicolor LEDs in there, though. Very, very weird. Um, I just can't go over the fact that it's snowing again. Anyways, uh, it's got one, two, three, four levels of DPI, 7,500. That's not right. That'd be insane. 7,500, 1,500, 2,500, and 3,500. And 3,500 is insane. Let me just pop it into a set. Holy. Okay, I can move the mouse like two inches, and it goes from either side of the screen. But that's nice, because the... I like this. The color that the mouse is tells me what the DPI setting is. So if it's red, it's the slowest, blue the next, and so on. I think purple's the fastest. That's very nice. Um, it's got a double-click button, which I still have to get used to. I mean, I have to get used to the entire layout. But, uh, I don't know, all in all, it seems like a very nice... No, a nice mouse. Not a nouse mice, but a very nice mouse. Um, I, I don't know, you'll probably hear me complain about it while I'm playing video games because I always complain about my mouse, but um, that seems like it. If you had no idea what this video was talking about, then you probably should have clicked on the annotation that was up there at the beginning of the video telling you to go look at the unboxing of the, um, the these three items that are here. And that way you kind of know what I'm talking about or just Google it. Um, but if you didn't, today we looked at the, the Century Arches. Oh, it's actually got a title of GS or CS. Nope, that's a G. GS4731. Okay. Um, gaming headset, which was top notch. I'd give it a right now 8 out of 10, just because it's out of the box. 8 out of 10. Um, it, it had some small issues. Doesn't really fit my head. I got a small head, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, 8 out of 10 for that keyboard. I didn't have any problems with it other than the delete delete key. So that gets it a 9 out of 10. Good job, HP. Um, you need to make a version 3 with a smaller delete key. And uh, I guess non-footnoted buttons, but I don't care. Uh, the mouse? I don't know. Keep getting... I'm really tired. Oh, my. Oh, jeez. Look at the snow. Um, uh, it's 7 out of 10 right now because it feels kind of stiff on the... Mouse pad. Maybe I just need another mouse pad. This, this is kind of weird. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've said that, I think. I'm not sure. But anyways, thanks for watching. There's twice. Um, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, then hit the, di the dislike button? Is that what it's called? I think it's the dislike button. Um, and stay tuned, because, I don't know, this summer is very hectic since I don't have it at my house. So... Like, how I upload this video is I even have to go to Starbucks and do it. We don't even have a Starbucks in this town. Oh, jeez. I have to go to the public library. Wow. It's okay, I'm a nerd anyways. Um, there might be a new, another video of me. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Check out some of my other stuff. It's kind of weird because I was just getting started. But anyways, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more of what I do. I don't do a lot of unboxings. This is very odd for me, but... Um, I do, I'm going to try and do a lot more outdoor stuff this year, uh, with GoPro and my ATVs. Um, if I get my motorcycle endorsement, just take a bunch of cruises. So, um, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like or dislike button or whatever, and, uh, roll the outro.